Hi guys, it's Becky. How you doing? I mean, I know a squall doesn't compare to the tornadoes that have went through, but um, this winds today, we're, they're predicting up to 95 miles an hour. And um, yeah, so constant like 30 and then 90s gusts. So, and it's not like a straight wind. It's like swirling around. There's the flag. Where is it? There it is. You can see how it's like really hazy in there. And you can hear it, I'm sure. The guy said that a boat slipped off the um, trailer in the storage lot already. So, we'll see what this is later today. See how many branches are down at my house when I get home. So we always have those big dry branches up in those tall trees in our neighborhood. So. See you soon. Everybody stay safe. These are the pine trees that are on the edge of the parking lot. I don't know if you can hear these winds. This is crazy. So there's already a big chunk down on that one. And down there, this is the tree that's totally down. All these trees are just leaning to the... Oh my goodness. I missed that. Um, leaning to the east. How about that one? Can you see that? That's a piece, the top uh, end of a pine tree that landed across the street on top of the fence. I do not know which tree that came off of. So, yeah. All right. Stay safe, everyone. See you soon. Yep, there's a little better picture of that. I have no idea where that came from, but look at these trees leaning. Yeah, this will be interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh man, this is nuts. There's the one down over there. Way down there. You can just see it across the double yellow line. So. I have no idea how that flew that far, landed on that fence. This is the kind of stuff that's happening with these big trees downtown. Their whole thing has lifted up and this one has landed on its house. There's a block back, there's two of them, down one on, t on each side of a car in the driveway. So there's power out everywhere, the lights are out. I mean, it's not destruction like the tornado, but it's crazy and um, it's gonna take a while for all this to um, get cleaned up as well. So I guess we'll see um, when we get home how much more came out of my yard and out of my trees. So stay tuned. Here's another one. This is rough guys. I mean, these are huge trees um, landing on houses. All the sidewalk pulled up. Um, yeah. We'll see how many, I mean, it's rough. And it's still blowing. Can you see it all blowing still? Um, you know, like Colorado Springs um, Utilities, it's basically they're out here with like the snow plows and the trucks and they're trying to like cut up the big limbs and stuff and get them pushed off the side of the road. There's one in the middle, like they cut the main thing off so they could throw it back up on the island so it's out of the way for traffic so hopefully that'll be the big concern I think later is in the dark the majority of this stuff will be out of the way of the of the street hopefully because there's another one look at all the fence just all down yep it's just taking everything up and throwing it wherever it wants to go one just barely missed the corner of that. Oh, it just hit the corner of the house. Took down a little bit of it, but hopefully it didn't damage it too much. Here's home. That's my house next door. There used to be two trees. One is there, and the other one is now laying down that used to be right there. Um, yeah. So the neighbor's tree came down. It is tall enough that I imagine that it probably, with the looks of the pine needles in my yard, 
probably landed right across my driveway. So, I'm gonna pull up um, along the street and um, yeah, see what else I need to pull out of the driveway and um, see what's on the roof. So, this is what home looks like and yeah, that must have it must have because there's pine needles all over my yard so okay hi guys it's Becky um yeah so I'm half glad that my car wasn't there I mean I don't think it here let's turn around again. I mean there's my entire yard is full of debris I mean I know we have trees it's, it's just gonna be a mess to pick up but um big enough to, and I was wondering why the lights weren't on yet because um we don't have any power so um we'll just be moving some of this big stuff man it like swirled everything around um, that thing is still in the tree at least it's not fallen on it but like everything oh my gosh I mean every single trash can has been stirred up on the side of the house I don't know who knows if we're missing any probably down the street so, um, it's really not worth parking in the driveway still. Just give it a little while for all the creaky stuff to, yeah, I mean, you can still hear it. Um, So yeah, the tree that's down right here was as tall as that one. Probably, oh, I don't know. When we pulled some of those down, they reached all the way across the, the street and it's approximately five lanes wide. So it looks like it at least hit out to here. There's a little bit of debris out here. Looks like they've cut off enough limbs and chunks so that um, they can get in their driveway. Yeah, well at least it went down diagonally. Some smells like Christmas with all the pine boughs, fresh breaks. Yeah, these are old trees too. I mean like, oh my gosh, there's another one down there. At least it didn't hit the house. Yeah, there's the root ball. I mean, they're big. That's like two foot across. That's at least easily 20, almost 24 inches. So, what else does it look like down here? Well, these pine trees are original, basically. See how tall they are to this neighborhood. And a lot of these houses were built Oh, in the 60s and the 70s. Doesn't look like um, there was a car in the driveway. But uh, here's a, a root ball for that one. Here. That's how tall that is. That is a good 8, 10 feet in the air. So, okay. I'm going to let Jeff know what uh, the best route is home. So everybody stay safe and uh, happy cleanup. Talk to y'all soon. Bye bye. Well, now I'm on a mission for the trash can. So um, seen a few down here. Let's turn around. This is a dead end. This is why it was so bad right there. Where, um, ooh, where are we? Right there. Pikes Peak? 
That's where their winds were coming directly from. So it blows right there and I'll turn right around straight up my street. And that is why so many trees fell from the west to the east. Um, and it looks like they have power on that side of the street. Looks like they don't. They don't. Uh, no power over here either. I don't see our trash can down here at the end of the block is where I'd guess it would accumulate it. Somebody else's recycle bin is here in the bushes. I guess uh, we'll be calling and asking for a new trash can. Besides the fact that we'll be picking aluminum cans out of our uh, backyard for a while. So that's that bottom of the tree I just stood in front of and got a selfie with. It fell totally covered up this other driveway. Right here. It's a blue spruce. It was a beautiful tree. And that's part of the reason. It's so thick and full of needles. It fell from here all the way across two garage driveways into the front house. It doesn't look like there's any cars under it, so that's good news. And then this one again, right there. Two of those. That one was a twin. Oh, she's left standing alone, so. It's like the guy across the street lost part of his crab apple tree. So now it's dusk and no power, so for sure not making dinner at home. And I guess we gotta decide Oops, what we're doing tonight. We're just hunkering down with no heat because it's supposed to get, I don't know, I'll have to check. It's probably at least supposed to get close to freezing. Or if we're gonna pack it in and see if we can uh, stay in somebody's couch. So, see you soon. Bye guys. Here's a crab tree across the street from us. Looks like it took out pretty much half of it. So, didn't hit anything, but uh, it's making a mess for cleanup. I'm surprised the other one didn't come down. It's about the same age, same size. So, here's my tree that I worried about. That first one with the multiple large branches. I thought that first branch on the left would come down for sure, but no. Probably. What saved it was it didn't have any leaves on it. Um, most of the trees that came down were pine. And that's just because they're so thick. And the wind just couldn't go through it and they couldn't fight them. So, yeah, that one's still down. That one's still down. I heard chainsaws this morning, but I don't know what they're working on. So, no trash can yet. Let me see if they'll give me anything information-wise, and then I am heading out. Right. So, unfortunately, the crew down there is working on the sewer. So, that is not a power crew. Um, yeah, so leaving it seeing if they can uh hopefully get out here later so walking around that tree came down i've walked a couple blocks each direction again now i'm thinking that trash can might be a lost cause at this point so fun stuff i mean definitely smells like christmas around here so that's nice. <clears throat> However, probably our backyard will have to wait until front yard really doesn't matter, it's just twigs and twigs and sticks and stuff. So, but the backyard will probably have to wait until the weekend when it's daylight hours. 
since um, Jeff doesn't get home until after dark right now. So, you know, aluminum cans in the backyard, no biggie. So, we'll go from there. Hi guys. So, I came home just to check on the house and see if we had power this afternoon because the recording for the utilities was saying there's no outage in your area. So, we have power. Yay! I think the furnace is on overdrive though. It's trying to catch up and heat it all back up again. So, good news. Thanks everybody for uh, thinking of us and um, wishing us well. So, um, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.